Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to the SAT test room. So we're going to take a look at the DDMF envelope. The DDMF envelope, strangely named, is a reverb. It's a very, very, very good reverb. If you remember my DDMF um, review on the 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 uh, EQ uh, the other week, you'll know that they're, it's super high quality, just just brilliant. Um, and the envelope is the same for a reverb. So I've got this running in it. It's an AU, by the way. It's an AU effect, audio unit effect. Okay, so uh, I've got it running in AUM uh, just to give you an idea of how the reverb sounds. And what I've done, so I'll close it here, is I've got it running with sample tank because I can go through different instruments and various acoustic instruments and stuff like that with sample tank. Take out the reverb in sample tank so you've got a dry feed uh, and you can just hear the effect of the, uh, the DDMF, basically. So we're going to start with acoustic piano. So uh, I have it on Piano Hall 2, but I've made some adjustments. Now, the thing to, to, to notice here is that if I select, um, let's see, Piano Hall 1. Okay, that's done. You'll see that the uh, dry wet here will go to 100% for every, every preset you select. I don't know why it does that. Uh, I, I would have it set on half, but, you know, <clears throat> hey-ho. doesn't really matter. So your effect will be will be way way too drowned. So the first thing to do is start to, to start to adjust the effect by taking the wet dry down. And you have control over your pre-delay. Okay, we'll leave that on zero there. And then you can also select the uh, the type of room here. Let's see. So you have my eyesight's not brilliant. So uh, yeah, you can see it's clean, large hall, ambience, uh, and then you have low cut, uh, high cut, and width. So just for a couple of seconds, I'm going to drop out the microphone so you're not hearing background noise, so you can you can hear the effect. done there is forgot to take the reverb out on there we go sample tank sorry about that so we we'll change the sounds around a bit Thank you. 
There's still some reverb creeping through from somewhere. I wonder if it's just part of the sample, because there's no... So let's try that with a, let's try the guitars with a, something, no, there's no guitars in Pro Library. Let's try this. So completely dry. It's actually really hard to make this reverb sound half unless you just full it, full it, pour it full on. But then again, you'd never really do that, you know. But you, may, you might for some stuff. So let's try uh, some synthesized sounds now. Also, actually, let's try some. Let's try some orchestra. Let's try some Maroslav full orchestra. <laughs> So bypass it. Pretty, pretty dry. Let's see what kind of presets we've got for this. Concert hall. So we have some gate gating going on, really. Let's try some voices. Okay, so 
Let's see what we have now. Uh, okay. Okay, small vocal room we'll start with. <laughs> Some, I think, synth, synth, some synth, uh, some synth lead, maybe. Let's drag the reverb off that. And uh, let's see, can't do without drums. So some drums. So let's see. So I guess the best uh, way to let's know what Yvonne knows is just to play a um doing wrong gear a a right let's see because <clears throat> usually usually should you hang on a sec okay Just let me check the volume.
So there you go, guys. Uh, DDMF envelope, uh, which is a revip. It's very cool. It's very, like I said, you know, you can add this thing. Uh, it's subtle. So, like I said, once you start to dial back the the mix, once you get past the kind of halfway point, the minus and into minus, you're starting to get more control over the reverb. Uh, it starts to sound more natural. Um, but, like I said, remember, just remember, when you load a preset, it will jump the uh, wet dry thread up to 100%. So you need to dial it back and then start making your own adjustments and stuff. Uh yeah, it's very, very good. I mean, it's a very good. It's like a professional reverb, you know, and it does really, 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 really well with the EQ. And is it at 60? Well, I don't know. Let's have a look. So if we can uh, just let's add, a, add another here. Uh, let's have a look. Of, of uh, audio units. Yeah, 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 the 6144, the, the EQ, which is also very, very good. Um, so, you know, those together are, are a good match. You know, they're a good pair to have in your uh, in your toolbox, basically, for your uh, iOS um, projects. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, please, if you can become a Patreon, please do. It helps me out enormously. Um and if you like the video, please like the video, uh, hit the like, the thumbs up, and also um, please subscribe to the Science Test Room YouTube channel as well. Uh, okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you later.